The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored on behalf of Hills Pet Nutrition by A1 Broadcast. Obesity is one of the top health threats pets face, with a recent survey showing around 60% of dogs and cats are overweight or obese. Last week, Brad talked with veterinarians, doctors Bernard Hodges and Terrence Ferguson, who are teaming up with Hills Pet Nutrition to help dogs and cats achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Good morning, Dr. Ferguson, Dr. Hodges. How are you two doing this morning? We're Fantastic. doing great. We're doing amazing. All right, this is a very important topic because we are talking about health concerns for our pets, and one that's very important, that is, of course, obesity. So let's talk a little bit the concerns that parents of pets should have for their pet health. Definitely. I mean, pet obesity is a growing epidemic, you know, but a big factor is awareness. Oftentimes, pet parents don't know that their fur babies are overweight. So, you know, we're super excited to have teamed up with Hills, you know, for the, their annual End Pet Obesity campaign. You know, that's, the, that's a big deal because we're going to give you the tools and the tricks to keep our fur babies happy. Yeah. And, and let's talk about what it means for obesity pets because some of us don't think, you know, oh, no, my pet's just so cuddly, but he's obese. <laughs> yeah, you know, obesity is definitely one of the, you know, the top health um, concerns in our pets today, you know, and the thing about it, it doesn't take a lot of weight, you know, just one pound can put our babies in an area that they can be kind of vulnerable to different diseases. Dr. Hodge and I, we see pets on a daily basis, and a lot of them come in and they're either overweight a little bit or maybe obese, and they get sick, and they have diseases like diabetes, and we contribute those things back to actually being overweight and being obese, so that's why it's so important for us to be proactive in our weight management. Yeah. Well, okay, so how does a, a pet parent know when their, of course, pet is overweight. How do we, how do we judge that? You know, that's one of the beauties of heels. You know, heels offer a tool that's called the love test, L-O-V-E. And that L means to locate those ribs. You know, we want to kind of look and we don't want to see ribs, but when we put our hands there to kind of massage a little bit on that chest, we want to be able to feel them pretty readily. The O is we want to observe our babies from the top. You know, what do we look like? Do we have a little waist? Are we kind of straight there or we got a little outward, you know, a little bulge there? And the V, we want to visualize from the side. You know, we want to do the same thing. We want to know if the baby has a waist or we got a little, little bit hanging down like sometimes, you know, our animals have or our cats have. And the E is we want to evaluate the diet. You know, how are we feeding now? Are we feeding once a day? Are we feeding twice a day? How much we're feeding? What are we feeding? And we want to take these tools and we, we want to take these results and we put them in a tool that, a tool that heals has created along with your veterinarian and help us come up with a diet that's specially um, get tailored for your baby. Yeah. Well, okay, so doctors, how difficult is it to, of course, manage a pet's weight loss and to make sure they're staying healthy? So, you know, I know how our cute little fur babies look at us with those sweet little eyes, and you're like, hmm, you know, give me some of what you're eating, but I definitely don't want to do that, you know? But it doesn't have to be intimidating either. You know, in fact, it can be a really positive experience. So what you can do is, you know, kind of team up with your veterinarian, you know, and uh, sh you can come up with a plan. You know, that's why we as veterinarians are, are spreading the word on the simple tools and steps you can take to make your fur babies nice and healthy. All right. I like that. My problem with I have is that he wakes me on the end of the night, middle of the night, you know, <laughs> get up, get me something like that. So uh, let's talk really quick tips to maintain our pet's weight. You know, one of the main things is we want to make sure our babies are active. You know, that's something that we can do by walking or if you got cats, just keeping them active in the house. But if you think your baby is overweight, you definitely want to consult um, with your veterinarian because we know one of the most important things is what diet that we put our, our babies on. And for overweight pets, you know, Dr. Hodge and I, we definitely recommend Heels Science Diet, perfect weight management because we know that being on this diet, more than 70% of pets lose weight within the first 10 weeks. And if your baby is considered to be obese, we definitely recommend Hills Prescription Diet. And they have several products, so you want to consult with your veterinarian to make sure that the baby is on the correct one that's going to help them lose weight, help them maintain a healthy life um, forever. I like this. Doctors, this is very important information. So where can we find all the information that we did talk about? You can find it right on our website and petobesity.com. You know, you can learn more about Hills Pet Nutrition as well as these tricks and tools to keep your baby nice and healthy. Perfect. Hey, doctors, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks thank for having us. us. 
The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored on behalf of Hills Pet Nutrition by A1 Broadcast.